your house. Hi everyone, it's me, Decorating Sister. Now you know that I love vintage. So over the past couple of years, I've been collecting things. And one of the things that I'm going to use in my living room is a very tall vintage lamp. But I hate the shade. It's really dated and old and you can tell. If I wanted to buy this lamp in one of the design centers, it would run me probably about six to $700 just because it is oversized. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to give a lamp an updated look on a budget, on your budget, to transform this old lampshade into something modern and beautiful. You're gonna need some fabric of your choice, hopefully one that matches the room or the style you're gonna go with. Some scissors, a pencil, and your trusty glue gun, and the measuring tape. Okay, so you're gonna spread your fabric out and then you're gonna place the lampshade down. You're going to come to the cleanest edge of your fabric and you're gonna take the lampshade, find the seam, whoops, find the seam and start on the seam. And what you're gonna do is trace the lampshade all the way across, rolling it out till you get back to the seam. That is your starting point. You're gonna keep rolling it, tracing it out. Okay. Then you're gonna do the same at the bottom. Start on your seam so you have your reference point and you're just gonna keep rolling till you get back to that seam here on the lampshade. Then what you're gonna do is cut it out. Leave about a half an inch for your seam allowance, we're gonna be folding it over. So you're gonna cut it. So now you're gonna take your fabric that you've cut to fit around the lamp, leaving a little overhang and sometimes you may have to just make an adjustment as you go around so I have these little clips here just to hold it in place before I start using my glue gun can you see the difference already and pull it tight Pull it really tight, leave a little overhang. And this is the part that you're going to glue down. And because I'm working with a vertical stripe, I can actually use that as a binder. So you may end up with a piece that's a little long. What you're gonna do is just fold it in so that you can get a really good seam, like the one we started with the ridge on the original shape. You're gonna pin that down and clip it. So then you're gonna take this and smooth this top part out, folding it over as you go along to make sure that it's really tight and smooth and the fabric is flat. You're gonna fold this piece back on your seam, folding it back. Pull it tight, 
removing out any wrinkles. Pulling it tight. You're gonna use another clip to hold it. Go ahead and go around the shade and make sure that it's flat all the way around. Isn't it looking modern already? So I'm going to go around and just push all my seam extra fabric over that will create the seam. And as you can see on the inside, I have about two inches here. And then on the other side, I have probably a quarter of an inch. And what I'm gonna do is take my glue gun and I'm going to put it on the fabric, not the shade, so that I can control it. So once I go all the way around, it kind of makes its own little cording. And if you don't like the way the fabric looks, you can take a piece of ribbon and go around on the inside. So you're gonna pull the fabric all the way around, hot gluing it over. And you can't make a mistake, because remember, this only cost you $10. And you have to keep your eyes open and know your style. Know what style you're looking for. So you're going to glue the lampshade all the way around and you're going to turn it over, flip it over and do the same thing on the bottom. How lovely. <laughs> it's looking modern already. It's so jazzy. For under $10, the fabric I got at a local Hobby Lobby and I used a 40% off coupon. Make sure when you're shopping that you take your phone and you Google for the coupons because you can use your phone coupons right at the register. So, let's go see how it looks in the room. Just love it if you can see it's a face of a woman or a man. It's kind of nondescript, but it's so abstract you have to look in and it's signed. So over here I have some more pieces I found from it.